Connor. I forgot his name. This hey guys, it's Jay, and today I am here with my January TBR. I'm hoping to read a total of four books per month. If you guys watched my resolution video, you also know that with my four books, I'm hoping that one of them is an arc and one of them is diverse. So that's how I planned my TBR for this month. We're going to see if it actually happens. So without further ado, let us get started. So the first book that I'm hoping to read for the month of January is Impulse by Ellen Hopkins. Because Ellen Hopkins, so obviously... You know, if I get a new Ellen Hopkins book, I'm going to read it as soon as I can. This one in particular follows Vanessa, Connor, and Tony, who are three teenagers who end up at the same psychiatric hospital when they attempted to commit suicide. It's basically their friendship developing and them trying to come to terms with what they're dealing with and things like that. And I'm excited because Ellen Hopkins. The second book that I'm hoping to read for the month of January... I'm actually 137 pages in already and I'm absolutely loving it and it is Dangerous Girls by Abigail Haas and this book follows Anna who went on vacation to Aruba with her friend group and one of her friends, her best friend Elise, ends up being murdered and everybody is pointing their fingers towards her. So it's the trial and trying to figure out what actually happened that night. So far. I'm really liking it. It's flying by, it goes super fast, and I really want to know who did it. I have an idea of who it is, but I'm probably wrong, but in my head I'm right, so we'll see if I actually am by the end of it. I've just heard so many people talk about this recently and say how good it is, so I've had it on my shelf for quite a while now, so I figured I might as well pick it up and see what the hype is about. The next book is my diverse pick for the month and it is More Happy Than Not by Adam Silvera and I don't know that much about this book other than it follows a boy named Aaron and he's trying to come to terms with his father's suicide and there's an institution where you can go and they like take your memories away and then he also has a girlfriend but he's falling for his best friend. That's all I really know about it. I could be way off and just be speculating on what I've heard. But overall, I've heard that it's amazing, so I want to read it. And it's also been on my shelf for a million years, so it needs to actually be read now. And then my fourth book, the final book that I'm hoping to read for January, is my ARC. And it is Dark is the Sea by Heather Blanchard. And I received this a long, long time ago. It follows a girl named Rowan who is haunted by nightmares and her mother's disappearance. And so she leaves London and goes to live with her aunt, and that's when she discovers that she actually has magical abilities. There's an ancient spirit called the Hunter, which is hunting her, and she has to use her newfound abilities to fight the Hunter, and that's all I know about it. Seems like it'll be interesting. It's very short, which is why I picked it. So we'll see what I think of it. I'm hoping I like it. It sounds like it would be cool, so why not? And also I like the cover because... I always like when girls walk away, which is like so cliche and a stupid concept for covers, but I'm a sucker for it. Alright guys, so those are the four books I'm hoping to read in January. Fingers crossed we're actually going to do it because school starts again in two days, so <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. But I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!